Okay, now, from the beginning. Please welcome Head of Cinematics, Adam Myhill, and producer for Made With Unity, Mike Wertherick. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. So we wanted to test out some of these 2018 artist features and the new lightweight render pipeline. So Adam and I created a few scenes. And we began where everybody begins, with the elusive, what is the vision? So let's make some storyboards. Let's make some cameras. Let's get an edit down, you know, some scratch audio. Let's build an animatic. And let's work it there before it gets expensive. But then what? You abandon the animatic only to build it for real somewhere else? We didn't do that part. We experimented and we did the design straight in Unity. And I'm going to introduce a new feature, Cinemachine Storyboard. So this is Unity. This is Timeline right here. This is an image on a camera clip. Basic storyboard. And you can see when we cross and we do a cut, we cut to another storyboard. And this is actually the same storyboard. You can see we've got an animation area here, so you can bring your storyboards to life. And when you have this, you're, you're doing your timing, your edits right here. But because it's in timeline, you get this extra magic. Look at this functionality. I can take my clip and overlap it, and that becomes a dissolve. So you can breathe a lot of life into your animatics right here, but this is where the magic starts, because when it's all in here together, I can fade this down and I can go from an animatic to 3D. So instead of doing your 2D somewhere, when you want to go from 2D to 3D, you're already there. And you can mix and match these ideas. I've got a 3D scene built and this works fine. I want to try out a new idea. I can go from 3D to 2D and mix and match and start to craft your vision. Your timing is preserved from start to finish. Look at this, you can even take the camera here. I'm going to just mix this alpha in just a little bit. And you can tune your cameras to match your reference. And get your 3D cameras to perfectly match your storyboards. But it's more than just cameras. What we're doing is we're getting you right next to your reference. When you're building things and you, you have you know, reference over here and then your game over there, if you want to get your reference to look like your game, you've got to get them like right next to each other. So we're putting the reference straight in. This is a Google map of, of uh, Boston. And then here's a world behind. And Mike and I, we wanted to build a couple of blocks of Boston. So this is a you know, punched in view. So we started gray boxing right, right over top, right over top of the image. And this is a big announcement. We did this. In Editor, we we're modeling gray boxing in Editor, and we we're doing that with ProBuilder. And ProBuilder is part of 2018.1. Mike's going to tell you all about it. So, like Adam said, we're gray boxing with ProBuilder. I'm a huge fan. I've been using it for years. So, we've got our small gameplay area that we uh, mocked up. And from the concept stage, we start actually being able to test out ideas, test out interactions. Um, and as the final art starts coming in, we can very rapidly go from gray box to your final art. Now, we didn't just use ProBuilder for gray boxing the environment. We actually used it to start gray boxing interactions with the, with the, the world. So here we have these characters that are in the this intersection, we thought it'd be cool if maybe a car came and took out some monsters and they dodged it. And you just animated that really quickly. So you can see there's a couple of keyframes I laid out in timeline here. So it took a couple of minutes to, to mock up this idea. But because it's Pro Builder, I can just grab the car and grab some edges and make my car look a little more car like. And we're modeling. We're yeah. modeling live on timeline as we're doing these things. Being able to iterate and try out ideas really quickly is super powerful. Now, that's kind of, it's all good, but that car doesn't really match our, our look. So one of the, uh, the new awesome features that we have is kind of a part of the, uh, the, the exclusive collaboration we have with Autodesk, where we can now export right from timeline. So I've gray boxed this idea, and I can export it out to my DCC tools and keep all of the timing, which is exactly what we did. So I sent this out, exported it out, sent it to the artists, 
and an artist who is much better at modeling than I am uh, actually created a car that looks like a car. And they added some suspension, some wheels turning, some, some simulation, and they created this cool result. I brought it back into Unity, and I'll just unmute those tracks. And you can see the timing and the position, everything is all kept right from our original idea. Now, having this kind of precision placement and trying out ideas is so important to your artist to be able to actually tr get that final look. And you're running the simulation in Max, which is really good at it, but you exactly. get it back super quickly. Exactly. Now, something else that artists are always super picky about is being able to create custom materials. And here we have an animated billboard up here that is actually being done with our new shader graph that uh, Natasha mentioned earlier. So this is the shader graph, and it's all integrated, built into 2018, and here we just split the UV channel. So we're just animating the X of the UV. And you can preview objects, bring in custom objects. No code, it's all linear or visual node editing and visual debugging. So you can very quickly create your own custom materials. This is extremely powerful workflows with 2018. We have a shader graph. <laughs> So as you move forward in your project and you get to the, the end, when you're you know, color grading, doing lighting, pulling everything together, that last 10% can feel like another 90%. And what I've got here is this is an image that I like. I like the colors. Look at the, the warm and the gradient. And look, there's that kind of purpley color in the shadows. So because we've got the reference right over top of the image, you can you can work with them so closely together. So in addition to the alpha, which I showed you before, we have this thing called split view. And what that does is it splits your overlay image to your game. And you can see the game needs a fair bit of work. I want it to look like this, but it's currently looking like this. And to help you with this, there's this button here, the waveform monitor, it's just right at the very bottom. And what this does is this opens a waveform editor and this shows you representation of all the colors in the scene. You can see the line down the middle. Watch as I wipe. This moves. Now, to some of you, this looks like clown barf, a sea of colors, doesn't make any sense. To the artists, the color graders, the art directors, you know that this is a film grade professional workflow. And what you do is you tune your game's lighting materials to match this. And I'm going to have a quick go. So I'm going to increase the sun size a little bit. And then that's got us a lot closer. And look at this. You can wipe and you can see I need a little bit more color in the sun. So I'm just going to double click that. Here's my color. Add a little bit more. I'm going to do one more thing. I think the shadows are a little bit out. You know, we could use a little bit more purple, so why don't we just turn some color grading on? And you can see in, in seconds, okay, I rehearsed this before, but you, you can see <laughs> that in, in, in no time at all, you're getting your game to look like your reference. Let me just do one more of this, the sky color. This is going to control the shadows of the game. I'm going to just wipe this over a little bit more. And being able to overlay your visual target with your game. Now you can see I just need a little bit more purple in my day lighting. So I'm just going to hit that. And you, uh, Scoochie, close enough. Ship it. Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to tie all this together. This is lightweight. This is a, a, a beautiful renderer which works on the most platforms that are out there. And look at the features we talked about today. We've got Storyboard, Pro Builder, the DCC round trip, uh, the shader graph, and then the color grading. Like any of these tools individually is powerful, but together you can align your, your game with your vision. You've got everything together. And all of this is in Unity 2018.1. Thank you. Thank you.